Okay, Michael from First Aid Oz. Uh, we're talking about hypothermia. So hypothermia, as to be distinct from hyperthermia, refers to uh, the body's uh, decrease in core temperature. So usually caused by a prolonged exposure to cold temperatures. So you're out in the open, perhaps you've gone for a surf and uh, you're out there a little too long and the water's uh, quite cold. Uh, it's made worse if, if there is a significant amount of wind, particularly cold wind. So wind chill factor uh, rapidly accelerates hypothermia. So as you know, body's core temperature is uh, just over the 37 degree mark. Mild hypothermia usually occurs around the 35 degree mark. If we get down to closer to 32, that would be severe hypothermia and a very serious risk uh, of death, uh, death caused by hypothermia. So the critical thing is, of course, uh, we look at two areas. From a first aid point of view, we look at how to manage it. Um, but like with all first aid situations, you know, they can be prevented. Okay, so preventing hypothermia would, number one, be aware of uh, what the environmental predictions are for the, for the conditions. If you know it's going to be cold uh, and it's going to be wet, uh, dress appropriately, have layers of clothing. If you're out in the surf, you know, in, in colder parts of the world or in colder times of the year, make sure you have a wetsuit and so on and so forth. Make sure that you have somewhere you can shelter. So if you're out in the open, you know, you could, you could jump back in the car or you've got a cabin close by or something. Bring some blankets with you, bring something that you can wrap yourself in when you're feeling cold, just to help restore that body temperature. And that's the key for handling hypothermia, is to prevent uh, the continued loss of your core body temperature. So how do you know? Um, as silly as it sounds, uh, you start to feel cold, funnily enough. Um, when you start to feel cold, and then you start to feel colder and you start to shiver and your muscles start to tighten and your jaw starts to tighten and you find it hard to speak and you start to get the trembles. They're all signs that you have onset of hypothermia. So prolonged exposure to cold beyond that point is only going to make it worse. So when you feel those symptoms and when you see your skin starting to go pale um, or starting to go purple, that's the time to get yourself out of the cold, dry yourself off as much as possible, wrap yourself in a warm blanket, get yourself in an area where you're not exposed to wind, okay? Because they're the things that are going to make hypothermia worse, progress to a state where you can perhaps um, become short of breath, you can perhaps lapse into unconsciousness, you can go into a coma and you can die. And they're things uh, we want to avoid as much as possible. So the best way to avoid those things is recognize the signs early. Now, if you've got a blanket and you've got a buddy whose core temperature is 37 degrees, get them in there with the blanket with you, because um, that'll help, because there is that transfer of body heat, make sure it's all consensual, and uh, that will help get your body warmth back as well. All right, so use a blanket, use a sleeping bag if you're camping, jump in the car, jump in, in a cabin or something or, or somewhere out of the wind, get yourself dried off. Um, if you're able to get into shelter um, and your clothes are wet, I don't recommend stripping all your clothes off. If you can uh, put a layer of blanket or a couple of layer of blanket over the top, that, that um, internal temperature inside the blanket will soon warm up. Um, but that's important. But if you have got dry clothes, of course, if you can do that outside of uh, the outside conditions, if you go into a change room or go into a room, of course, then I would recommend uh, get out of your wet clothes and put on some dry clothes. But otherwise, get that blanket around you as quickly as possible and get out of the wind, get out of the rain, okay? Because that's the, the most serious risk of hypothermia is prolonged exposure to uh, cold, uh, whether you're in the snow, obviously, that's an obvious one. Uh, whether you're at the beach, they're the, the two most common places that hypothermia uh, takes place. Or if you're out hiking in, in cold areas and you get wet and you, you aren't able to get shelter from that cold and the wind. Very important, okay? Hypothermia.